Hello everyone, this is Anju Thapilia. I'm presenting budget analysis of Midwell City fiscal year 2018. This is very important to me because I am also the resident of Midwell City, Utah, and any growth and development will really impact uh, on the life of civilians here. Also, uh, the Midwell City is a public organization and utilizes income from tax received to function. Its primary purpose is to provide service to its residents and people in the com community. This uh, budget analysis will help city to reach their goals in providing the existing level of municipal services and to help meet the demands of rapidly growing city of Midwell. Uh, before anything, I'd like to provide you the economic overview. Uh, the looking at previous years, the economy of Midwell City, uh, Utah has raised due to employment opportunity and housing market growth. The additionally, the guideline principles, the budget builds upon the guiding principle found in councils, strategic plan with investment focus in the following areas like public safety, employee salaries and benefits, operations, public utilities, city maintenance, for example, stormwater, street lightning, sanitation, telecommunication and information technologies, uh, culture, art and recreation. Uh, the proposed budget uh, are for Midwell City fiscal year 2018 are similar as public safety, employee salary and benefits, operations, utopia, capital improvement projects, major construction projects such as road, road improvement, uh, I probably forgot right, sidewalk improvement as well, public utilities fund budget, stormwater, street lightning, sanitation, telecommunication, fleet fund, information technology fund budget. In looking at fiscal year 2018, the budget, uh, one way to look at it is by the funds. We have total annual budget of US dollar $29,572,700. Capital budget uh, is, um, which is divided into three budgets, uh, with capital budget, operating budget, and additional budget. Capital budget is uh, approximately 2 million 48,000 US dollars. Operating budget is 17,668 US dollars. Additional budget is approximately 9,856,100 dollars. That is approximately 10 million. Uh, that will include um, other budgets like uh, planning the city maintenance and all that. I've also uh, put the chart over here to show the general fund revenues of fiscal year 2017 which includes sales tax, property tax, um, other taxes fees, how the revenues will come here. Um, another one from I included is general fund expenditures from fiscal year 2017. As we can see, the public safety is our highest expenditures, uh, followed by personal services, operations, capital, utopia, and debt services.
is a budget outline for fiscal year 2018 looking at the previous chart uh, the proposed uh, total amount uh, for budget uh, fiscal year 2018 is approximately 29 million dollars uh, and then they are always they are all divided into certain categories um, like general fund, capital improvement, public utilities, stormwater, slit lightning, sanitation, telecommunication, fleet, information technologies. Looking at all these, uh, the key focus area over here will be um, the public safety expenses where uh, we have largest expenditures um, the uh, city has added both police officers and fire recruits refurbishing ambulances and training paramedics uh, the operational cost of capital project is also being placed in service uh, and another uh, street maintenance always key focus area capital program planning and implementation street light maintenance Storm water community centers. Um, the city fleet fund also has reserved that could be drawn upon uh, emergency. The main key focus area is public safety and. Uh, the, in the, the enhancement includes 39% of general fund is budgeted for police, dispatch, emergency management, and animal control service. The city has contract with Unified Police Department for police stations, increased in funding for road maintenance, expanding symmetry, continuing impasses on processing outstanding justice court warrant. And there is also one full-time position for park and symmetry that was added last year. Other enhancement on this key focus area includes code compliance, community prosecutors, senior services, just such like uh, providing medical transportation and others. Ooh, the vibrant color. The economic vibrancy of key focus area highlights are, um, we have to include other goals of city councils uh, to keep unrestricted fund balance also known as rainy day fund and level of 15 percent of general fund revenues the state of utah requires city to maintain a fund balance of between five percent and 25 percent of general fund revenues here is the outlook behind the fiscal year 2018 why we need all this fund uh, the major general fund is largest in uh, Midville City Fund with approximately 17 million for fiscal year 2018, which is down by 820,000 approximately from previous year. This difference is largely due to capital grant received in previous year, and if similar grants are received in this year, the city aims to present amended budget. The property tax has increased since last year in order to provide high quality public safety and to improve and maintain roads. Another one, even though the last uh, few years of economic drop down, the city has city, city still had maintained um, focus on public safety and economic development, lived within the means, made necessary reductions continued the plan and investment in the future with long-term goals of expanding city tax base. Several projects are in process, progress that will have positive impact on future budget. Uh, financial challenges may continue into future fiscal year and will impact the city budget. Um, Um, as future requirement uh, will come to place, uh, strategies to, to help city budget out in future may require consideration as future planning will come to the place. And this is it. Uh, thank you so much.